Hey everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Tom Vecchio of FanDuel. He's here to give out some NFL player props that he likes going into this season. What's going on, Tom? I'm doing good. You know, NFL is right around the corner. Last few drafts, last few uh, bets get in before the season starts. Absolutely. We're nine days away from the beginning of the NFL season. So let's get those last minute bets in there, including a guy that I've been targeting in fantasy football leagues, and that is Adam Thielen. He's over under total for touchdown receptions this year. It's six and a half. You can have a plus money right now over the FanDuel Sportsbook. That's something you're in on, Tom. Absolutely. The over on six and a half. I've also been targeting him in some best ball drafts. And really, the question I keep asking myself is, Who's going to compete with Thielen in the passing offense? They traded away Steph Diggs, and right now they'd be rolling out, outside of Thielen, they'd be rolling out uh, Kyle Rudolph, uh, Dalvin Cook, B.C. Johnson, and the rookie uh, Justin Jefferson. And that really just you know, keeps bringing up this question. Like Adam Thielen's going to have 150 targets. He's going to have you know, 9, 8, 9, 10 touchdowns. And I think that's in the realm of possibility. If we look back to last year, he had six touchdowns, and I was only in 10 games. He missed a few due to injury. The year before, he had nine in that monster year, uh, 2018, and that was with Steph Diggs. We're getting him at plus money, and he is the guy in the passing offense for Minnesota. So uh, take the money, take the over, lock him in, draft him, whatever you can do. Get some Thielen this year. Maybe it's too chalky. Maybe I'm just too invested, but Adam Thielen, clearly my guy this year, along with you, Tom, for all the reasons that you mentioned, over and everything. He's the guy for Kirk Cousins. He is the guy in this Minnesota offense alongside Dalvin Cook. Never too much Adam Thielen here this season. Let's move over out to Vegas, and we'll chat about a rookie, and that's Henry Ruggs. He was the first wide receiver, I believe, selected this year in the draft, and it surprised people. That means the Raiders are high on him. And from all indications in training camp this year, he's been awesome. His over-under total on touchdowns is a four and a half. Another number that you get at plus money over the FanDuel Sportsbook. You're in on Henry Ruggs. Absolutely. And like you said, the, the training camp reports on him have been strong. And the, and the OC, Greg Olson, and Jeff, uh, John Gruden have been talking about using him in the slot, using him out wide. All of this is a good indication. Now, initially, we have him at number five projected for just over four touchdowns, which is you know good for a rookie. We know that the Raiders need to pass the ball a lot, or they should be with their weak defense. But last week, we got the note that Tyrell Williams is dealing with a labrum issue, but he's going to rehab it, no surgery, and he will play. And then, you know, kind of like with the Thielen situation, the question I'm asking about Ruggs in the back of my mind is, what happens if Williams isn't good to go? What happens after one, two weeks, he takes a weird hit, and then he's going to be out? Is Ruggs now the guy in Vegas for the Raiders, who they already said they wanted to use on the outside, on the inside? It doesn't matter. So four and a half seems pretty low for a player who could be falling into more opportunity. Henry Ruggs is a game breaker, or at least the Raiders hope so. And whether Tyrell Williams is hurt or not, he's not going to stand in the way of Ruggs hopefully dominating this season. You only need a couple of good games. Four and a half is not a super high number. If he can stay healthy, that Derek Carr to Henry Ruggs connection may be strong. One last player to chat about today, and it's someone that we're not going over with. You're actually going under with Zach Ertz and his touchdowns. That number's at seven and a half, which seems like a lot. Obviously, Dallas Goddard is there. But you look at that Philly receiving core, and it's not existent with all of the injuries that they have right now, making Zach Ertz, once again, probably Carson Wentz's primary option. You still believe seven and a half touchdowns is too high of a number, though? Yes, you know, they're dealing with injuries this year or, you know, before the year even starts, but they were dealing with injuries last year, and he only ended with 10. And now we have to factor in uh, Carson Wentz is dealing with a lower body soft tissue injury. They lost two offensive linemen, you know, the emergence of Dallas Goddard last year. So if we look back to last year, like I said, only six touchdowns. They were without Deshaun Jackson. Uh, Aguilar missed time at the end of the year. Jeffrey missed time at the end of the year. It was, what, Greg Ward, Jay Jaw, and Matt Collins. They were rolling out there as their wide receivers. And we still only saw six touchdowns from Zach Ertz. So if we're dealing with more injuries this year, which is comparable, but we now have injuries to the offensive line and to Carson Wentz, why would I be encouraged to take the over? So I'm, you know, banking on the under here. It's not great to say I don't want to see a player underproduce. But if we're looking at a similar situation, the under is the spot to go for Ertz. You can definitely see a player underproduce. It's going to make you money, Tom. And that's what Zach Ertz is going to do. Under seven and a half touchdowns here this year in spite of the wide receiver injuries because that offensive line is already banged up, so banged up. So is quarterback Carson Wentz. Under seven and a half touchdowns for Zach Ertz just seems safer. And that is minus 130 right now over at the FanDuel Sportsbook.
That's going to do it for us here on the Hurry Up. Tom, we appreciate the time. Good luck with these bets, man. Same to you. Thank you very much. Tomorrow, we'll be joined by Megan Nunez as we take a look about her favorite bets of the day. For Tom Becchio, I'm Greg Sussman. Thanks so much for watching. Football season's here, everybody. Get excited. We'll see you tomorrow for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.